A question I receive a lot from viewers is, hey, what equipment do you use to make your videos? So in this video, I am going to answer that question because I received that question so many times and I decided, hey, I'm just going to make a video and answer it. Now the first equipment I use to record my videos is a microphone and as you can see in the picture, it's a USB Logitech headset. Now what I like about this uh, microphone is you can hear my voice clearly. There's no pops, no messed up noises or any uh, background noises that you can hear. And if you do hear background noise, it's very, very low, which is great. And another feature is the price is affordable. I really like this mic. I remember buying on eBay a much more expensive mic because this mic, my voice is a little bit low, so I have to speak up louder. So I wanted to get a, a microphone that you can clearly hear me. And it worked pretty well. But it was just super amplified, super sensitive. I mean, you could hear anything. You could hear my feet rub it against the carpet. You could hear people talking outside, having a conversation. And if it's raining, you could hear the raindrops outside uh, my apartment. And if I'm recording on a day where uh, maintenance workers outside are cutting grass and revving up the lawnmower, you could just hear all of that. And so that was the issue for me. And that's why I decided to use this microphone because it doesn't really capture all of that background noise as much as the other one. The other one, you can hear everything. I mean, you can hear the AC unit turning on and it was just way too amplified. So that's why I went with this one. The price was right. It's just, it works. So that's the first device I use to record my videos, a USB Logitech headset. I believe you can get it for like maybe 20, 30 bucks, which is not bad. The only downside to this microphone is that when you're recording, your voice may appear a little low. Like if you hear my voice in the video, it might sound a little low to you. So that's the only disadvantage. Other than that, everything works. I remember in one of the comments section, someone was like, hey man, I can't hear you. You need to speak up. I mean, that's just the mic I use. What can I do? I guess I'll just have to find a new mic that works just as well as this, but it's a little bit more amplified. But for now, this gets the job done, so let's move on to my next equipment that I use. Now before I go into the second piece of equipment that I use to record my videos, I want to make mention that I'm going to post the links to these devices in the description section below of my video. So feel free to check that out when you get a chance. Now, one of the major reasons why I needed to get a new laptop, particularly this one, the HP NV15X2 laptop, was I needed a laptop that was noiseless, a laptop that was quiet, one without a fan, because my previous laptop had a big issue. Let's say when I'm recording a long video, the laptop would get hot, and as a result, the fan would turn on to try to cool down the laptop. And you could actually hear in the background the fan making noise, which was a problem, <laughs> a very big problem that I had to get rid of. So that's why I decided to make the investment into this laptop. It's quite on the expensive side, but it's definitely worth it. A second feature that I needed in my new laptop was I needed a laptop with a lot of memory. This one has over 430 gigs of memory, perhaps more. I make a lot of videos and I need to put them somewhere. So that's why I needed a laptop with a lot of memory to store those videos on. Now the third area that I really value this laptop is that it's fast. It's not slow. My other laptop will take time getting things done. There would be some lag, especially when I'm trying to boot it up and get the laptop started. It would take time. But this laptop, it just, it gets things done. It just moves fast. When I'm searching things on the internet, it, there's really no loading time, which I really appreciate this laptop for. It helps me to get things done quickly. I don't have to like wait for the screen to load up or something. Now, some other features that this laptop has. It has a detachable keyboard, which is nice. It's connected by Bluetooth, so you, it doesn't have to be attached for it to work. The second thing is you have a touch screen display, so you can draw directly using a screen. Now, personally, 
I don't use the touchscreen display to draw stuff on my computer screen. Instead, I use the Wacom tablet. Why? It's simply a habit that I've just gotten used to. And I've gotten better at it, so I continue to use it. So here is the Wacom tablet that I use to draw stuff on my screen. I have a screen capture software that records whatever I'm seeing on my screen, which is what I'm using right now to make this video. Now, the Intuos Wacom tablet, I meant to say Intuos or however you pronounce it, it's very useful. It might take some practice getting used to. I know it took me a while to get used to when I started, but the more you use it, the better you become at drawing stuff. I still haven't perfected my drawing skills. I still have a lot, a long way to go to improve in those skills. But me personally, I think it's worth it. But you can use the touchscreen display to draw stuff, so you have to find out what works for you. What works for me may or may not work for you. But this is the tablet that I use to draw stuff and make my videos. Now, there's a lot of different types of screen capture software that you can use to record whatever it is you're looking at on your computer monitor. In fact, that's how I'm making this video right now. As you can see, or you can see everything that's on my computer screen. You could use Camtasia to record videos like this. There's other types of software out there that can do the same thing. The one I'm currently using is Movie Video Suite 14. And all you gotta do is click the record computer screen link. Now, I currently have one open, so if I click this link, I'm going to have two files open, which is going to be a problem. But once you click it, you can adjust the viewing window. You can record the entire computer screen or simply a portion of it, which is nice. Another feature that I like to use is the edit video feature. This allows me to take small clips and combine it into a longer video, which is good. So let me show you how I do it. So I'm going to combine these five videos into one video. So you just got to drag the files into this area and then drag them. Let me click this select all option and simply drag them to the track. And then all you need to do is click save the video file. But I'm not going to do that yet. Another feature that's useful is that you can embed your website into the video. So let me show you how to do that. Let's click titles. Let's choose a simple subtitle, a small one. And then click the add button or this little drop down button and then add to the title track. So I'm going to put my website here, video-tutor.net. And I don't need it to be so big, so I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to make it red. And then you can adjust how long you want the website to be displayed. You can have it displayed throughout the entire portion of your video, or just I meant to say the entire video or simply a portion of it. Let's put it for the first 25 seconds. And then if you hit playback full screen, you could see how it's going to look like in your video. And then when you're done, just click save video or save movie. And if you want to, you can also put an audio track here and then drag the file and you could play music in your video too if you want. So if you want to add music to your uh, video, you can do that with this software. So let's save as video file and then you can adjust the output format. I like to use HD video and 720, 16 by 9, that's my aspect ratio. And then just click save. And then you could save it wherever you want to um, in a folder or wherever you designate.
Now there's one more thing I need to show you, and that is the software that I use to actually draw stuff. So let's close this. Now the first one I like to use is Microsoft Paint. And you could adjust the background as you uh, see fit. And then you could just draw on it if you want. Another one that I like to use is Sketchbook Pro. So this was already on. Let's uh, clear this away. Let me use my Wacom tablet to draw things. So you can draw whatever that you want to draw on on this software. You can draw circles, you can draw rectangles. So this is a software I use to record a lot of my videos. As you can see, the graphics are pretty good. And that's basically it. So once you start using this, you'll get the hang of it. There's a lot of features to get used to. So now you know the equipment that I use to make my videos. And once again, if you want to find out where to get them, I'm going to post the links in the description section below of this video. So thanks for watching.